Display manufacturers began introducing a slot on the back of the panel called an OPS, or Open Pluggable Specification Module. This course will give you a short history on how this OPS module has evolved into what we now refer to as an SDM, or Smart Display Module, offering native SDVOE capability directly to a display. Developed by NEC, Intel and Microsoft, the OPS, or Open Pluggable Specification Module, is a tiny computer which is able to add aftermarket digital signage functionality to any display. Now, prior to the introduction of OPS, digital signage operators were faced with lengthy and expensive downtime in the case of endpoint failure, and choices were also limited because the displays had to be compatible with the digital signage infrastructure. Furthermore, as new digital signage technologies were introduced, the cost of upgrading an existing system were really high. The Open Pluggable Specification, OPS, also allowed display manufacturers to offer a far greater choice of displays to the digital signage market. And if a display failed or required updating, the OPS module just needed to be swapped across without the need for any reconfiguration. The original Intel product used an open standard, which meant that anybody could build them. So, anybody buying a display with an integrated OPS port was able to shop around for an aftermarket OPS module when the need arose and later development saw the OPS module being superseded by the SDM, or Smart Display Module, and that offered more than just digital signage functionality. As displays became thinner and power efficiency became more important, the Intel Smart Display Module provides a more sophisticated design within a smaller form factor to support even the thinnest integrated displays. And unlike its predecessor, the Smart Display module is available in multiple form factor sizes, allowing for new and scalable all-in-one design to be implemented, depending on power management, input-output requirements, processing capability, and future capabilities to support things like 8K resolution displays and video capture. This ability to add Video capture functionality has allowed SDVOE technology to be embedded into a smart display module, removing the need for additional receiver endpoints within an SDVOE system. And this is exciting news for video distribution integrators because it extends the power and scalability of the SDVOE ecosystem to system designers, integrators, and even end users. In fact, you should check out Thomas Tang from a Pantex video where he introduces the SDM module for SDVOE. Go check it out with this link.